In this lesson, we're going to beef up the front of those skinny roofs by applying a fascia. There's not a lot of material on those roofs. In fact, that brings up a good point. Where is the roof framing? Well, typically your structural consultant is going to design the roof system. We're merely designing the finish, the plywood and the copper. A fascia is a finish, I guess. There actually is a separate command in Revit called Roof Fascia, unlike the absence of the Roof Dormer command. The objective of this exercise is to add a fascia to the corridor and the southwest curved roof. Open the file you've been working on, or open the file called Chapter 8 and follow along. As you can see from my example, I have the dormer finished off. Boy, it looks a lot better, right? Kind of cuts it in, trims it up nice. We don't have to do much but pick a bunch of faces. It's on this roof too. If I select the roof, if you look at this, it's a separate piece completely. So if we spin around to the back, we can see that this appends to the roof. Had we not moved this roof to the proper elevation before we put it on there, it wouldn't have mattered, because this is appended to the roof. It's not a part of it, but it knows that that line is the determining line of its height and its width. Let's zoom in on the radial roof. On the Architect tab, click the little roof down and go Roof Fascia. Click Edit Type and click Duplicate. Let's call it Fascia Flat 1x12 Copper. Click OK. As you can see the profile here, we could change it to any other profile we wanted. 